Wishing you a very safe morning to every guest and faculty member present over here. My team name is Tech Mind and the team members are Dikshan Dagarwal and Jay Agarwal. Myself Dikshan Dagarwal currently pursuing B.Tech in Mechatronics Engineering third year from Sri Vishnu Vidyapeeth Vishwavidyalaya Indore. And my teammate Jay Agarwal currently pursuing MCA second year from Govind Ram Shikshir Institute of Technology and Science. Now we will be giving the introduction of the library machine. possibility of having good knowledge is closely linked to availability of study materials mainly book the lack of book supply leads to less understanding we as a student always need the books at night before the exam then we rush to friends for notes and books and waste our precious time so to overcome this problem we have developed a machine that will deliver books 24 by 7 and seeing the conditions we are taking all the preventive measures against covid-19 virus Our machine will deliver the safest book to you. Now, here are some important key features of the machine. First, it provides computer controlled storage. Means all the placing of books will be made by computer and a parallel system is designed for admin to store the books automatically by checking the vacant positions in the machine. The dispensing and tracking of books are also controlled by computer. Our machine is completely automatic. A person is just a swipe away to get a book in hand which is one of the most important advantage of this project second a potential mechanism to save time our machine it takes only 15 seconds for the book to come to the window and completely sanitized third seeing today's conditions we just want less human interference so in our machine you have no human interference which is another point that adds to the safety of machine Fourth, it provides secure book storage than library. Fifth, a complete tracking of books borrower data will be made in the system. Now let's understand the flow diagram of machine. At first, the process starts from automatic hand sanitization. Then the next step will be temperature check at the machine itself. If the temperature reads less than 99 degree Fahrenheit, and the system will proceed and the student will be shown two option: inquiry or login. In the inquiry menu you can know about the availability of book. In login you will be having three menus. The first one states select department. In this you have to select the department of which the books belong. For example mechanical engineering. The second menu states select subject. In this you have to select the subject of the book. For example strength of material. The third menu states select book. In this you have to choose between available book in the machine. Just tap on the book and then the back end system starts working. The corresponding coordinates of the book fed in the code will process and then the motor runs for that book shelf and then the book will be picked up by the tray then it will be taken to UV filter placed at 6 inches from the book and a halt for 10 seconds will be made because as the fact says the average bacterium will be killed in 10 seconds at a distance of 6 inches. Then after the book will be placed in delivery window the window slides open and the student can take the book the slider window closes again and then the empty tray will be sanitized at the return of book the tag of the book will be scanned so to make sure that the book placed at the right position only otherwise by mishandling the book will be transferred to wrong position by student book will be issued only after 24 hours after the return of book complete safety measures taken regarding covid-19 virus the major components first microcontroller now for the basic idea we are using ordino mega 2560 r3 microcontroller which will be used to interface temperature measurement lcd touch screen and u sanitization second lcd touch module in this we will display all the process and all the input from the student will be taken from this touch screen and the corresponding program code will run and accordingly motor will get to work third our power backup system will automatically put the system to sleep if it is not in working mode for 5 minutes fourth stepper motor this motor will be used for making the mechanism for the back end robot which will deliver the book the slider mechanism and using rack and pinion we will be controlling all the movements of the robot for the model we are using nema 17 motor fifth uv sanitization 
All the books at the delivery station will first be sanitized when someone will return the book and then the book will be again sanitized before the issue of book. Sixth, automatic hand sanitizer. First the student should sanitize hands from the hand sanitizer machine then he can proceed to issue or return the book. Seventh, temperature measurement. A temperature sensor placed at the book machine will check the temperature of the student. Eight, the delivery window. It will have a door lock system. user authentication a security deposit of a fixed amount say rupees 500 which will be taken at the time of admission this will be equivalent to purchase price of book in case the student fails to return the book the initial cost of book will be taken from the account holders late fee will be calculated from the formula return date minus issue date plus 14 into n rupees per day and this will be deducted from the security deposit all the students will be given a rfid radio frequency identification card which will be used to log into system and all the data will be stored in the card only if the user is authorized from the admin then only he or she can issue the book it, it is very necessary to identify the user for maintaining record of the book and the book borrower's data this record can be used to remind the book holder to return the book on time If the student fails to return the book after 1 month of the return date then a warning message will be sent to the class teacher and parents of the student then after the following up of the initial cost of the book will be deducted LCD touch screen display the system will automatically goes in sleep mode to wake up the system you have to give a nudge or by pressing the start button in login tab if the id is unauthorized then the system will return to home If this problem occurs you can contact to admin if id is authorized you can proceed to issue or return the book microcontroller temperature measurement lcd touch screen u sanitization auto sleep system lockdown if any of the process misbehave or the sanitized machine does not work the system will go in lockdown mode which will make sure that the system is com- is completely safe rfid cards Uh, it does not require a direct line of sight which makes it fast to identify the system it can be rewritten or reused extremely durable against the impact of environmental factor as it works on radio frequency readers can read hundreds of tags within second uv sanitization ultraviolet light of between 200 to 280 nanometer wavelength is known as uvc and is known to be harmful to cell tissue There are UVA and UVB lights which have longer wavelength. These UV lights are present in sun radiation. While UVA and UVB are more on the visible spectrum, the UVC gets filtered out by the ozone layer of the atmosphere. UVC light of specifically 250 for nanometer in wavelength has been used to sanitize books, which is only type of ultraviolet light powerful enough to be germicidal. You don't have to touch the book surfaces. By running a static fixture light over the books, you can sanitize it without coming into contact with it. It can be fast depending on the intensity of UVC light, the distance from the target. Short work can be made on jumps. It can be convenient. Application. This machine can be used in various sectors. I use the example of library for better approach and understanding. We can use this machine in supermarkets. We are trying to make product at the least cost and with the most efficient mechanism available at this cost which is ready to use. Advantages over manual library at college. Full safety of books will be maintained. Pilferage can be avoided. Public interference can be avoided. Proper sanitization. In no time the book will be delivered to you with 99% safe to use. Results From this concept we can conclude that the smart library machine is technically flexible to the students it gives availability of the book all time and also at times when generally book cannot be issued and gives easy access it is economical and safe as compared to vending machines available in market thank you